I cannot believe what we just saw, y'all. Me and Steph were sitting here at the campfire eating some pumpkin pie, drinking our coffee, and a wild lynx enters the camp. I'm assuming it's a wild lynx, not a bobcat. Just looks a lot different than the bobcats I'm used to. I know they have lynx up around here. So, hey, wild lynx just enters our camp. Steph, just like, just, just, just looks over and this thing is coming in and I'm like oh my god I need to grab my camera I need to grab my camera and he's looking at us and he's hunting he's hunting these chipmunks and little ground mammals that are living in these holes and I ran inside got my camera and while he was behind the bushes and I was able to run over get in position and got him actually attacking and eating a uh, whatever it was one of those little mice or little moles or I don't know, little marmots, whatever they have up here. That was just incredible. Like I've, I've seen bobcats before and it's so incredibly hard. You see them for just a few seconds, they disappear. I've seen one mountain lion, but to be able to see a wild cat and then get that close, get it on camera. Y'all, that is some outdoor greatness right there. Go ahead and smash it. What a way to start the day. So just incredible man I'm on like a like a rush from that mission today we're gonna try to get some trout for dinner um, Stephanie yesterday unfortunately broke the fly rod but we still got some other conventional rods and we have to to move camps uh, we've got some weather coming so anyway we're gonna try to find uh, some streams I may try to get a few fish out of the lake before the wind gets too bad so that we can have some dinner tonight uh, we ran out of water and everything but you could follow along on all the uh, the camp ventures, everything that's happening at camp over at the Lake Life Family Channel. We're doing uh, some of our Dutch oven recipes over there, and Stephanie's kind of vlogging her experience on, on this side of things. I get to do this stuff all the time. I'm still seeing amazing stuff every time I go out in the outdoors. Thank you, Lord. But this is really her first time being up in the mountains, so go check it out. Link down below. And we are, we are going to continue our journey today. Let's go wet a line. Fresh. Come on, baby. Oh, just had one. Oh, got it. Come on, baby. Oh, we came off. God, that was a big one. Oh, shoot. Just had a big brown on. Kind of don't want to keep him. That'd be a great photo fish. Oh, God. Come on, baby. Oh, we came off. God, that was a big one. I think my rod's too stiff. Oh. Can't handle the fight, the jumps. Just lost probably my biggest brown trout I've ever had on. Let's go find another hole. Ooh. Pack mule. You can do it. Oh, yeah. Okay, another little rapid area with a couple of rock breaks. We're just gonna make a couple of roosty, roosty tail flips through there. Might be a little swift. Oh, almost had one, had one chase it. Probably gonna have to rig up a fly, like an actual fly. I, I know, I saw him, you saw him? Dang it, they're not eating it. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna attempt to rig something up here. I've lost two really big fish this trip. Big brown trout just a minute ago and a big rainbow trout the other day when me and Stephanie were fishing. This one's got a weight on it, this bobber right here. It's a slip bobber. So I'm gonna slide this through. I'm gonna put a fly on. What do you think we should go with, babe? Which one? That one. That one? Little guy, okay. I've got a weighted slip bobber. 
I've got a 1 16th ounce little clamp on lead weight and then I've got a dry fly. Oh yeah, I can get some distance on this baby. Oh, I got one. Uh oh! Oh! Let's go to the next pool. I had one on. Try right here for a second. Got him, got him. Ah! Kidding me. Dang it. Okay, my, my trick worked though. I'm having trouble keeping him on. Grab that bag. First couple of trout spots did not pan out, but we've decided to move a little bit farther south to just kind of start making our way off the mountain. We're basically just gonna follow this river today and try to find some other little fishing spots down it and then eventually find a place to camp. But as we're doing that, the fall, <laughs> all these leaves are flying everywhere. It's really beautiful, so Steph's enjoying it. I'm pretty excited about the opportunity to catch a big brown trout. I already had one on today. Okay, so in this little area right here, this fast moving water, there's a pool down below that has some fish in it. And I just spotted them. So Steph's over there making some lunch on the tailgate. I'm just gonna walk down here, see if I can get one of these guys. This could be dinner. I'm gonna use this rock as cover. Oh, almost had one eat it. Little one's coming over to it. Yeah, I definitely see some sitting right on this little side eddy current area. Just got to give them the right presentation. Come on now. Ooh, there's another one. Well, that's a nice brown, nice brown trout. Ooh, come on, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, he almost got it. That's a, that looks like a cutthroat. Looks like a cutthroat over there. It's gonna go right in front of his face. Oh, he's chasing it. Come on, oh, he almost ate it, almost ate it. Oh, we were close, we were close to catching this guy. This is cool, sight fishing. Just gotta find exactly what he wants. Coming by his face. Ah, he just doesn't quite want to grab it. You sucker. Oh, got him. Oh gosh, he came off. No. I think that was a rainbow actually. Not a very big one. My little deal worked. Just can't keep him hooked. Lost three. Well, y'all, I just can't seem to keep a trout on. Tried a bunch of different fly scenarios. Well, that is some clear water. Tried a bunch of different flies. Those ones that were in the pool, couldn't get them. So I think I'm gonna just continue downstream here we hit another pool. Oh my gosh, I got one. I got one. Oh, he's in the current. He's in the current. I think it's a brown trout. Oh, it's a brown trout. Come here, buddy. Look at this beauty. Oh my. Stephanie's never seen a brown trout. I want her to see one. Hey, honey! Look how pretty they are. Oh my god. 
Look at all the spots. It's like orange. Yeah, they have red spots. It's so pretty. They're gorgeous. See, I told you there was a good spot down there. Yeah, it's cool. I'm just pointing out all the good stuff. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go because he's not big enough to keep in. I think he's pretty cool. There he goes. Well, it caught me a nice pretty brown at least. But now it's time to head to our camp that we don't know where it is. Where we don't, is our nest? We don't know where our next home is for the night. So we're trying to find some campgrounds that are open. A lot of them are closed because winter is coming. camp has been found y'all and the stream is running behind it so we put ourselves about an hour ahead for tomorrow's big drive and uh, we just started a fire Steph's gonna make some dinner here tonight she's gonna make an apple crisp oh delish and I'm gonna take my rods in there and go try to get a fish I can hear the stream ahead it's still a ways down there oh man how crazy is this place y'all so apparently this time of year they've had to evacuate people off the mountain via care flight because the snow just comes about and gets really bad so we basically just need to get out of here before it gets too bad oh i see some fly i see some bugs in the air this could be a good deal oh yeah baby this looks fantastic right here we've got a little bend we have a bend Okay, I'm gonna sit right here and try not to fall in. Cause that would be very bad. I'm gonna try the old bobber method first. Literally going to sit. Take my little float and fly. Shoot it out there. It's going kind of quick. Certain little areas you just got to get it in. Oh, trout on it. Trout was on it right there. Saw him, saw him bust out. Okay, they're just not, not taking the fly here. Gonna have to go with the old roosty. Yes. Okay, now we're safe. Thank you, gravity, for not killing me. Oh. I either had a bite or I hit a rock. Moving on down, we got ourselves another little tricky pool. Oh, I got one. No, that's a stick. All right, that's a goner. Oh, uh, it is, it's pretty down here, but y'all, I think it's gonna be very cold down in this valley tonight. I hope we picked a okay spot. Aha, uh no. -huh. I'm gonna call it. It's getting really cold. I wanna make sure Stephanie is okay. This has been a crazy experience for her. She's done very well, but I don't want to leave her for too long. Got moose and bears, lynxes running around, mountain lions. You gotta keep her safe. It is time to sign it off for the day. Unfortunately, 
I was not able to capitalize on any more fish. Stephanie has had to fire up her recipes and cook us something. I don't know. She's got something in there. And she has apple crisp, which is going to be delicious. We're going to eat that. And if you guys want to see more of that action, Like Life Family Channel, linked down below. But we're spending our last night here, and then it's time for me to sign off, head back to the great state of Texas. I enjoy Colorado, though. It's like the colder weather cousin, and I do enjoy it. But it is time to leave and head back to the basses. And the deer, it's archery season. So make sure to stay tuned, subscribe right here so you don't miss a single outdoor activity. And I will see you guys on the next one.